Hello, my name is Ken Marlin, and I'm a Microsoft Business Development Manager here at Aero Electronics. I'm also a Microsoft MVP with focus on embedded IoT solutions. Aero Electronics is one of the largest global distributors of electronic semiconductors, devices, components, and systems. We also have a strong Microsoft IoT focus and help OEMs design, build, and support various appliances and devices through many industry verticals. In this video, I'll give you an overview of embedded product activation keys. A product key is not a license, but rather an enabler of a software product. The first thing to note is that there are two types of product keys you will see within the Microsoft Embedded program. Some embedded products use a key that is printed on the COA sticker itself, and these are called PKEA, or Product Key Entry Activation. If your COA has the key printed on it, you're using the PKEA method, and it requires that you use this key to activate your image. The more commonly used product key is known as the EPKEA, which does not have the key on the COA and instead requires filling out and submitting a key request form to Microsoft. You can request the product key form directly from the Aero team, fill it out, including your CLA number, product key or keys that you need, then email it directly to Microsoft. With the EPKEA, you get a single activation key from Microsoft that you'll include in your image and you use it to activate all your systems. Please keep the key private as it is tied to your OEM account and is good for thousands of activations. The thing to remember is that an activation is not a license, but rather an enabler of a software product. You must still purchase the license, which is the COA sticker itself, and place it directly on each embedded system you ship. Lastly, one of the top questions or issues that we hear from our customer is that my key is blocked from being activated. If your key is blocked from activation, odds are high that you are using a staging key. The staging keys that are included with an OPK are used to create a master image with the intentions of replacing the key with a valid key at the time you are imaging the system. Questions on product keys are something we answer often, so if you need any assistance, please contact our Aero team. Thank you guys for watching. The best way to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft products and news is to visit our website. You can also reach our team by sending an email to msembedded at I really appreciate your time. Keep building and connecting your Windows devices.